In the golden age of steam engines, the Fowler B6 called Talisman stood above all others as the pinnacle of British engineering. But today, they are all but extinct, with most left for scrap. For one man, it is the lifelong dream to fix that. With a little help from his old friend Guy Martin and longtime supporters Morris Lubricants, Alex Sharphouse has set himself the near impossible challenge of recreating Talisman from scratch in time for the Shrewsbury Steam Rally. Can Alex turn his dream into reality? In How to Build a Steam Engine. With the boiler now complete, it's time for Alex and his team to begin constructing the wheels. These need to be designed, cast and built from scratch before being sent to a specialist facility to be rubbered. Building wheels to the scale, strength and accuracy needed for an engine like Talisman is no mean feat and Alex and Guy have certainly had their hands full on this job. But with some planning, patience and no little skill, the wheel structures were complete and sent for rubbering. Today, we join Alex as he finds out how it's gone and learns a little bit more about the process. Right, so how have we got on with these wheels? I mean, yeah, really good actually. Yeah. They're, they're nice wheels, nicely made made the job a lot easier. Some really? of the old ones are very difficult to do. These are really, really well made, so it's made it a nice, really? easy job for us, yeah. Actually, we build it up in stages, so we get the rubber, we, we prep up your the wheels, yeah. prep the steel up so it's shot blasted, you've got a nice right. surface to do it to, and then everything then is applied, yeah. which is again where the man hours come in. There's four guys putting the rubber onto the wheels, but it's all put on in one continuous piece of rubber, and then it's cured into yeah. it in an autoclave, basically. So it's as near as we can get to what to would have originally been, would have been on, there, yeah. on that engine. Originally, so. there would have been a great big massive mould and it yeah. would have been moulded, but now we don't do oh, it in that way. No. Because you, you, you just wouldn't pay to have a mould no. made for that big. So we do it a conventional way and put yeah. the rubber on and machine all the shape on and machine yeah. the rubber to a finished article. Yeah. Brilliant. No, it's absolutely fantastic. And, uh, to come here today and see this is just amazing. So, oh, uh, yeah, can we, uh, we can, can we go and see him? Because yeah, yeah, I'm itching yeah, no to see him. Yeah, okay. brilliant. Right, let's go and have a look. Great. So this is the actual That's wheel it. in the machine, finished, ready to right. go. Just got to clean it up a little bit, and then we'll take it out, and you can take it away. That's it. So that's the finished. Yeah. Polished and done. It's fabulous, isn't it? Look at yeah, that. Really, really good job. Can't believe how good a finish you get. I mean, it's a shame to run it on the road, it really, isn't it? Because it's going to start to. You get a little marks, and it won't be off the a road few, surface. A stone marks, maybe, but yeah. It shouldn't mark that rubber at no, all. No. It should stay like that for a good few That's many great. years. And you've got the middle V in, which is exactly yep. to the original works drawing of yep. what we've got at the engine. And on the edge, yeah. And then slight radius on the sides. Perfect. Yeah, yeah we talked that about point. that when we were yeah. talking the job through, weren't we, on the phone and about putting the radius on that tapers right back to the edges. So it, it Just, matches yeah. nicely onto your actual it does, wheel. Yeah, it looks so really... You've got no gap between the rubber and the wheel. No, when you look you at it, it's spot on, isn't a it? A nice job. Yeah. Brilliant. No, can't say... Uh, yeah, it's an amazing job. Uh, better than I could ever have imagined when we first started with that. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, well Glad impressed. Yeah, thank Great. you very much. No Let's get them, uh, get them loaded on and yeah. get back up to okay. uh, go and find Cumbria. Eh? <laughs> with the wheels now complete, Alex can head back to the workshop with another one of the biggest tasks behind him. Of course, there's still a fair few ahead of him too. Next time on how to build a steam engine, fitting the wheels. Two and a half ton roughly a wheel, which is two family cars. That wheel weighs the same amount. Amazing. 